Home Depot, I'm buying a stud finder. Say, look, stud finder, stud finder. On the back, put my battery in. So just what the directions tell me to do. Decide which one, which uh, indicator I want. Stud scan or deep, and I don't think I need a deep. Press this against the surface and squeeze the start button with my thumb. Now, oh, that, that right there is the edge of a stud. That's the other edge. And look where my X was. I was right above it. Okay, so that's how I know where right there in that area is where I can put my wood. This in here, all over here is my stud. And over here is my stud all the way to the end. There are none going vertically. Super freaking easy to use. 20 bucks in Home Depot. This is something I am definitely, especially in the RV, I'm definitely going to keep on hand. Dollar for the battery in the 99 cent store. <laughs> and look at this nice flat edge. That's what I'm going to use to mark off my studs. Ha ha ha. Woo! Complete package. Self-contained. All right. FYI, this thing on the back says that it will detect hot wires. I called the phone number and asked the guy if it'll detect DC wiring. And he said yes, and it does. Which means now it's going to be really easy for me to find the wiring over here to add those cigarette lighter sockets so that I can put my inverter in so that I could plug my TV into that. <gasps> oh, excited. Okay. So this thing, the bomb, love it. And I just flopped it down like it was nothing. I have, I have a relationship with you, Zircon Stud Finder. I'm sorry about that. I'll never do that again. Will you, are we good? Oh, good. So this is where I want to mount my TV. I already have the lines made where I found the studs from the stud gun. The stud finder. I went to Lowe's. I bought this piece of wood. I measured it to be 20 by 22, I believe. I found the studs with the stud gun. I put some lines over there to give me a guideline of where I should be. There's my first screw in there. That's the second hole. I measured two inches from that screw. I had to actually do this with my screwdriver to get the hole, to get the screw to go in all the way. These are the screws I'm using. Okay. All right. Gonna put the next one up. I did not use liquid nails because who knows? Maybe someday I want that thing to come down. I'm one quarter of the way done. It's done. The top I did every two inches. Wait, I'm, th I'm talking through my glasses. The bottom I did every three because that's where I'm going to put the mount. And if I want to put it between screws, I want to have enough room. I think it's pretty sturdy. I mean, it's not coming off of here for sure. So hopefully my mount will go on here, my TV, and I'll be okay. Okay, so there's my board painted. I went in and bought a little sample. Look at this. A little sample jar of my color, which is banana leaf, cost me over $5 for this little thing. <clears throat> I mean, I'm just saying, you know, come, you need to see this. These screws came in to the shower surround from the other side. That is how cheaply this rig is made. All seven of them, except for the ones that are within here, are showing. So, now I have another dilemma. What that tells me, I mean, right off the bat, is that the screws that I put in there are one and three quarter inch. That means that that's how far in that's going. One and three quarter inch is the depth from this wall with the wood to that wall with the stud and everything. Now, here's my dilemma. The screws that come with the mount are two inches, okay? I am not the type of person to deviate or to butt heads with engineering or science. So my theory is that that mount 
was designed to be used with two inch screws. So now I'm, excuse me, now I'm wondering if I should put a piece of wood on the other side on the surround so that the screws have some place to go into. <sighs> I'm really getting tired of this. Bye. Hip hip a freaking ray. Got it up there, kids. How many times have I said that? Got it up. Look at that. Okay, what I did was, you know, this is a half inch plywood board. Once I drilled through this, oh my goodness, I knew that I was in serious trouble if I was gonna put this up with that. I couldn't use a toggle bolt because of the math involved and I couldn't use a torpedo. So what I did was I went and I got this. This is a three quarter inch deep piece of wood by an inch and a half. I drilled my holes according to this mount and then I put Gorilla Glue behind this, popped it up, screwed those in with a ratchet, not with a Phillips head because I never would have been able to do that. See that? Yeah. Those, those Phillips heads, they would have quit in no time. You know, I would have eaten them up. So I actually was able to use, going by the math, I was actually able to use the two and a half inch screws that came with this mount, which I didn't think I'd be able to. This to my bathroom was one and a half inch, one and three quarter inches. So add this and that's two and a half inches. And I know that because you saw that they came, the screws came through the bathroom. This thing, I really feel confident about this now. Really feel confident. The only thing that I regret is that had I had two people, this would be straight and it's not. See how it comes out a little bit over here. And maybe I could loosen it and move it a little bit. But to be honest with you, I don't think that that teeny little bit is gonna make a big difference. Congratulations to me. Well, being ye old perfectionist that I am, I went in and I unscrewed the top and the bottom real, real quick and I evened it out. See? So now they're even? Yeah, now my TV will be level. How about that? Or if I go like that, it looks like I didn't do it. If I do this, it looks like I super did it. Woo! Okay. The TV will be next. I'll let that sit and dry and I want to get a two and a half inch screw for up there. Boy, oh boy, I'm really happy with this now. Yesterday I was like, oh, I'll never get that thing up. <laughs> How many times have I said that? No!